Okay. Good morning and welcome to Morning Devotions for the community of St. Andrews in Glenwood, Maryland. My name is Paul and I'll serve as leader today. <laughs> Pause for just a second. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Great is the Lord, and worthy of all praise. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor, power and might, be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us praise and worship God, who has called us together. Let us celebrate God's majesty and delight in the wonder of God's love. Together we shall confess our sins and receive assurance that we are forgiven. As we reflect together on our meditation, we can allow God's word to speak to us and ponder its meaning for our lives. In our prayers, we give thanks for God's goodness we pray for others as well as for ourselves, and we offer our lives anew in Christ's service. All this we do because we believe in the presence among us of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and in the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. It shall rejoice with gladness and singing. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And the majesty of our God. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened. And the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like the heart. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness. And streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return and come with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and sign shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Uh, this morning I uh, chose a meditation for, uh, from Terry Hershey yesterday. Um, it's a, it's a very timely one looking at the um, uh, hurricane that has just passed through Florida and uh, uh, made me think of uh, all the storms of life. So uh, as you listen to this this morning, the one thing I want to focus on is our own personal experiences with either storms of nature or uh, the really tough storms that have uh, that we've individually faced in our lives. So maybe we can kick that around a little bit this morning. So the meditation from Terry Hersey's Sabbath Moment. The west coast of Florida, Minnesota Key, has been my vacation getaway for many, many years. And I have good friends who call it home and have many in the area. They have left the state, traveling north to find safety away from the path of the hurricane Ian. Today, I've been watching weather updates and talking with friends, and I want to thank Sojourners for this story and gift. Um, 
This is a, a, a song that is set to the tune of our church's One Foundation, if you know that one. Hopefully, we were hoping to play it this morning, but unfortunately, it didn't come across too clearly. So we'll, if you know it, you can hum along. Um, it's a hymn for those devastated by hurricanes and violent storms. These words of him. Uh, this hymn was written by Carolyn Winfrey Gillette to help churches support the relief efforts in response to the flooding in Puerto Rico and nearby islands. And it is an invitation reminding us that no one of us is in this journey alone, and that even in chaos, we can become places of sanctuary, compassion, kindness, healing, and restoration. So the song is, O oh God of all creation. O oh God of all creation, as ocean waters warm, we grieve the devastation that comes from violent storms. We pray for people struggling who need your grace and help on every flooded island and in each flooded place. We pray for all your children so dearly loved by you who know such great destruction as winds and rains crash through. We pray for all those hurting who grieve for what is gone, for neighbors, friends, and siblings who struggle to go on. We pray, O oh Lord, for churches that help to build anew. We pray for rescue workers and all the good they do. We pray for those with wisdom, vision, who serve as they restore, who make homes more efficient and stronger than before. O Christ, who calmed the waters and stilled the stormy seas, you teach us to love your neighbors and humbly care for these. Now lead us by your spirit to gladly lend a hand on every struggling island and in each hurting land. So, Thinking about, um, as I read this and as I saw the storm information yesterday, I thought back in my life to when I might have been involved in or seen um, a catastrophic, catastrophic, uh, catastrophic, tough word this morning, uh, storm. And I uh, uh, wondered if you all had had experiences with such things. I really, remember very vividly uh, Hurricane Agnes coming through our area. Uh, this was back in 71 or 72. 72. Uh, and uh, uh, at that time, we were in Altoona, Pennsylvania. And at one point, uh, we were totally surrounded by water. We were uh, at not close up, but in a distance, the rivers around us and, uh, and so on. Uh, pretty much formed a barrier, keeping us into a into an area. Uh, and I remember I had I had many uh, as a manager of a commercial credit office, uh, many many uh, home loans on people's mobile homes, which at that time were floating down a lot of rivers in Pennsylvania, uh, and and seeing the tremendous damage that was done by those storms. Um, it was quite. Uh, it was, you know, hard to, hard to see the damage and to see the way it affects people's individual lives. Um, anybody else have a close up with a hurricane or? I remember Agnes too, mm. and it, I mean, all the bridges here in Woodbine mm. were there were no bridges to go over mm. the rivers or anything. But also it brought tornadoes. So the tornado damage yeah. that was around was pretty amazing too. Mm -hmm. Terrifying, really. Yeah. <laughs> and I think whenever we see these storms, we do see, you know, the damage and the, and the, <laughs> the suffering that people are going to go through as their homes are gone, their uh, communities as they knew them are gone, but there's always those wonderful stories of the way communities come together and help each other. And uh, 
uh, not only the local communities, but the greater community. Um, I think that the, we tend to show our best under those kind of trying times. At least that's my experience. Anybody else? Yeah. Well, we were in Chattanooga, I uh, forget what year it was, but there were like like 50 tornadoes hit different areas, mm -hmm. parts of Chattanooga. We were not affected, but um, it was just kind of uh, amazing about how one place could be totally destroyed in a, in a block over mm -hmm. was fine. You know, it was just, yeah. you just, it was just chance. Um, what was destroyed? Um, I experienced two hurricanes on uh, uh, the Outer Banks, of North Carolina. Oh, well, that's an years. exciting place to experience them. And uh, the the first one was the interesting one that, that we drove, and they didn't stop us, so we got on the island, and uh, oh. it was blowing like mad. And then it was in the eye of the hurricane. We unpacked. And then the house shook all night long <laughs> from the other direction. But nothing was destroyed. Mm -hmm. So I've experienced an eye of a hurricane. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Wow. I you were staying in the eye. It was pure and peaceful and sunny. <laughs> It brings to mind to me the uh, experience of our refugee family, you know, mm. and uh, and how the church has come together yeah. to to help them. To Kawa yesterday, she had her her outpatient surgery, oh. and uh, it all went well. Good. Yeah, was gone for eight hours to take them there and by the time I got home it was eight hours wasn't it Ed? I was gone but uh, at least that she would she was disappointed that they didn't show her the polyp that they took out <laughs> I guess she expected to see it but um, mm -hmm. they had a well, little trouble. they had a little trouble with translating they had oh. this app on this machine that's supposed to provide translators but it didn't work the way they thought it would but uh but wow. we got through it all so very good i think of that community down in uh, kentucky where we do the appalachian ministry every year and this year right after uh everybody came back from there they had the terrible flooding nearby oh right and have a, right you know that affects so many of these areas that get affected or um people that uh, you know don't have a lot and uh, their, their homes are in risky locations and uh, have a you know it's pretty devastating and i can't imagine personally going through the recovery of you know having lost your house where do you go from there that's got to be got to be incredibly difficult yeah. well any other Thoughts, comments? Okay. The first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If we claim to be sinless, we are self-deceived and strangers to the truth. If we confess our sins, God is just and may be trusted to forgive our sins 
and cleanse us from every kind of wrong. Spirit of God, search our hearts. God of mercy, we have sinned against you and against others. We have sinned in what we have done and in what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, forgive us all that is past and raise us to newness of life. Amen. Almighty God, who pardons all who truly repent, forgive our sins, strengthen us by the Holy Spirit, and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Your faithfulness, Lord, is great. You are all that I have. And therefore, I will wait for you. You, O oh Lord, are good to those who wait for you. To all those who seek you. It is good to wait in patience. For the salvation of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Holy and ever-living God, by your power we are created, and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit, that we may give ourselves in your service and live each day and love one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers for thanksgiving and intercessions at this time. For all those in the path of Ian. For Ed and Alma and Maggie. For Anne and Lisa, Terry and Mike. For Bob and Clara Jean and Dave. Harrison and Tom. Eternal God, grant to us this day and every day such readiness and delight in following Christ that whether our lives are short or long, we shall have lived abundantly. Amen. O oh God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single peace. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes and peace in our hearts. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful God bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.